Welcome to a classic Game Room interview today with Keith Mullen, the founder of Gamer Grub, gaming food for gamers, specially made to increase gaming performance. Is, is that how the, the marketing team would say it? Well, we actually don't have a marketing team, um, but uh, we basically, you know, the concept is to think fast so you can win more. That's a good concept. The, yeah. The question is, how do you bioengineer Gamer Grub to do that? Well, we worked with a flavor house, uh, really had to understand uh, the flavor profiles that would obviously be delicious. And then we also had to uh, then talk with a, a laboratory to engineer the, uh, the vitamin premix, which, are, which is installed in Gamer Grub for the cognitive functioning. So there's kind of two different, I guess, R&D phases. One is taste, uh, and then the other is you're saying that the functional ingredients that are added in Gamer Grub. Flavor House. There is a house of flavor? House of flavors, flavors, flavors. Well, yeah, thanks. it's. Uh, I mean, basically, that's just a, an industry term of that's the group um, that has, uh, let's say, the, the flavor profiles, uh, a, a library, if you will, okay. that you are, are trying to you know, start with and, and then kind of change and then kind of go forward based on uh, just a, a base construct. Well, let's back up to the beginning here. When was Gamer Grub founded, and how did this idea come to you? I was actually uh, at been to E three conventions for I don't know ten years plus or so, and I was uh, designing uh, some computer gaming peripherals, you know, lighting, chairs, this type of thing. And uh, you know, obviously, you know, gaming a lot. I just had the frustration of I got crumbs and goop all over my controllers and all of my hands, and and uh, I just got tired of of getting up and washing my hands and coming back, you know, the computer and working. I, I just do stuff really fast and multitask, and like you know, there's got to be a better way. So you know, kind of working in you know the, the gaming space, designing some products, and then uh, you know having issues with snacking. That's kind of in the. Ah, you know, just kind of the moment came up and I said, wait a minute, what's kind of going on here? There's got to be something I can do with this. And um, then started working with the gaming community and, and understanding that a lot of people had the same problem. So configuring that or just kind of understanding that, OK, here's a problem. Here's something that that I am really passionate about, the gaming community. Uh, let's try and solve it. That's really kind of, I guess, the genesis of it. And that's when you came up with the tear and tilt technology, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, there was there was rip and tip and uh another company already has that trademark so I couldn't couldn't use that but we were trying to figure out how to um solve the solve the problems and that's uh the tear and tilt was was a, a, I guess a methodology of how to accomplish that. Well, you I have to give you credit. You've designed a nice bag and if you watch my review of Gamer Grub, I reviewed a couple of the flavors. It's just it's a very space age looking bag. It looks like something that could be in you know, on the space station or something, or on NASA, and you you easily tear it off, and then you crinkle it, push it together with your hands, and you can you just basically eat the food. So yeah, you're, you're right, and in that in that respect, it works exactly as advertised. We we actually had the original design when I first uh, kind of came up with the concept. We actually had a rigid packaging, and the the packaging almost looked like a um, a controller. It was a very, it was a rigid container. It was plastic. It was, you know, had this manipulable uh, top that moved and whatnot. It was really, really cool, very MacGyver esque and, you know, uh, kind of gamer controller. But uh, that ended up costing just a, a very large amount of money to yeah. make. And we couldn't do the cool stuff. Uh, so we had to then came up, okay, we still need to solve the problem. We need really cool packaging. So then kind of started working with, uh, um, a really good artist to try and figure that out. And then obviously the, the bag production group um, that makes the, the packages to say, okay, here's our problem. How do we, how do we solve it? It's just been a, a series of trying to solve problems. And uh, I think we can all relate to flavors. And there's, you know, you, you have the peanut butter and jelly flavor. There's a flavor that to me at least tasted like Chex Mix or something, you know, nice and salty like that. But how do you, how did you come up with the, with, with the, um, I, I was joking around and called them neurotoxins, but how do you come up with, with the enhancers to make you a better video game player? What mixture of vitamins and minerals and stuff did you use? And how did you come up with that? 
Yeah, so that's we worked with a, um, a, a laboratory and we put together a design specification of what we um, want, what we want to accomplish from a functionality perspective. Let's just say Gatorade, um, you know, their functionality is you know hydration, so they use salt ions to um, you know enable you know cells to you know soak up liquid easier. So when we came up with a design spec of here's what we want to do, we needed to uh, basically improve your body's um, performance. That are required for when you game. So you're looking at, you know, eye, uh, retinal, you know, light, uh, and let's just say image translations, and then processing in your wetware, as I like to call it, and then uh, transmission of those wetware signals to your hands to manipulate controllers. So we looked at it really from the, your, you know, your ocular nerves all the way through to your, um, you know, to your, to your paws, if you will. Um, and all the processing that's required in that. We actually, the original designs, we had, um, when we worked with the laboratory, we came up with, you know, some ridiculous route from, you know, some mountain in, in India and, and all these other, you know, pretty, um, let's just say, interesting concepts of what to use. Uh, but then looking at those, then it, it just started to get kind of ridiculous as far as, you know, what we can actually, um, you know, talk about and, and be realistic with. So we came up with uh, glutamic acid and, and niacin, which are, you know, you can look at on our website as far as um, the scientific community supporting that these are actual, you know, um, support mental uh, functioning and, and reaction times. So that's, uh, you know, that's kind of a, a, a quick version of okay. uh, how we went about the process, but we worked with some really smart um, doctors to come up with that formulation and in the percentages that are in um, actually each flavor, which is a whole nother set of uh, challenges to, to work on. 